Hey everyone, I hope you're doing well and welcome back to another Q&A series. In today's video, we are going to look at how we can create a head bobbing effect or a camera shake for a first person character. As you can see, when I'm in idle state, I have this head movement for my character. When I start walking, I also have a camera shake and when I start running, I have it with a little bit of an exaggeration. This was asked by one of you guys and I think it's a very good subject to cover. So let's jump right in and see how it's done. First, we need three camera shake blueprints. So right click in your content browser, create a blueprint and here search for camera shake. Here, as you can see, we have a couple of camera shake blueprints, but uh, the one you're looking for is this legacy camera shake. So add it to your content browser and let's name it idle. Then copy it and name this one walking. Do it again and name the third one running. These blueprints allow us to create the camera shake that we are looking for and we are able to uh, assign it to the cameras in the level. Using these options, we are able to control the movement. For example, this oscillation duration is basically the duration of the movement. So for example, put it on two and then you are able to control how it moves using pitch, yaw and roll. Pitch is up to down movement, yaw is left to right, and roll uh, is like this. So for example, let's put the amplitude of the pitch on 5 and frequency on 10. And uh, we don't need these guys uh, in our case, but feel free to play with these values and see how they look. So now what we want to do is to sign uh, this idle camera shake blueprint to our first person camera just go to your first person folder and find your first person blueprint and open it up here add an event tick and then search for client start camera shake if it can't find it just disable this context sensitive and you'll be okay now here I'm going to choose the idle uh, blueprint that I made. And now all we need here is to just add a get player controller node. Plug it into the target and we are good to go. Now you can see that I have the camera shake but it's looking nuts and that's because uh, the values are off and also we didn't check this option here just uh, turn this on and now before we change the values let's see how it looks yeah it's working much better and now we are able to control it using this uh, values here for example let's decrease the amplitude on 2 and the frequency on 5 Yeah, it's looking good and now we are able to move on and create this for uh, the walking state and then the running state. Just open up the walking camera shake blueprint and uh, set some values here. For example, let's set the oscillation duration on 2, amplitude of the pitch on 5, the frequency on 10 and also let's add some yaw this time. For example, let's go with 4 and 6. Enable single instance and then now in order to utilize it, just go to the movement section of the first person character and then use this function here. Just copy and paste, plug it in and choose the walking camera shake. Also plug in the get player controller node and now we are good to go. Now as you can see when I start walking I have the camera shake that I made. The values are a little bit exaggerated so let's uh, decrease them a little. For example let's set it on 3 
8 amplitude on 3 and frequency on 5 and now it should look better yeah good and finally we need to do it again and this time for our running state so uh, put in some values for the running states so for example 2 8 8 6 6 and this time we can add some roll as well for example let's go with 2 and 2 and again enable single instance and now what we need to do is to create a running option for a first person character it doesn't have it by default so we need to define a key and using that key uh, change the maximum speed of our character so let's go to the first person folder go to the inputs create a key name it run and then here let's select it and set it on left shift now we are able to use our left shift as an event in our first person character blueprint here just right click type run and you can see that um, we can use the key as an event now we want to change the maximum speed of our character so drag this character movement component to your event graph and here search for set max walk speed the default value is 600 centimeters per second so for example let's set it on 1200 when we are running and again set it back on 600 when we go back to the walking state when we hold left shift we want it to start running so connect it to the started output and then connect this one to the completed meaning that when we release the key we go back to this value here now just copy the function here connect it to the triggered and then select your running camera shake again copy the get player controller node plug it in and now we are good to go compile and play and now you can see that when i hold shift i start running and i also have the running camera shake when i release it i go to the walking state with the walking camera shake and when i stop i have the idle state camera shake as you may have noticed the transition between the different uh, camera shakes is not smooth and it doesn't look good so let's go back to our uh, blueprints and fix it as well just uh, open them up and here you have this oscillation blend in time and blend out time set it on for example 1.5 for all of them and this gives us the ability to have a blend between the different states which makes the transition much better and smoother yeah and that's it this is how you can introduce some camera shake to your first person character as i mentioned before these values here are a little bit exaggerated to uh, help me showcase this to you guys uh, for your projects you are uh, free to play with these values and create a subtle and uh, smooth head movement for your character if you enjoyed this video please uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel and also if you have questions about my tutorials or about unreal in general please feel free to ask it uh, in the comment sections of the videos and i'll try to cover it in my q a series thank you guys for watching see you next time